Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the very first Word 2007 um, in, uh, series of uh, instruction videos and so today's uh, video is going to be pretty basic. So if you're pretty savvy with Microsoft Word you can probably skip this one but I wanted to start with the bare bones basics. So for those of you who moved uh, recently from 2003 up to version 2007 or potentially you're even on 2010 now uh, I have not really looked at Office 2010 yet, but I think it's fairly similar. So the big differences that you'll notice right up right off the bat is instead of having the file edit menus and so forth, you're going to have this what they call Microsoft calls the ribbon here. So you'll notice the categories. Um, each tab here has a different section. So the home is kind of the most common things that you'll do, like numbers, list, um, different formatted options like font and so forth. But if you need to insert items into your Word document, it would be under the Insert tab. Page Layout would have things like themes and set up the margins and borders. Um, you've got lots of different things here, references, um, mail merge utilities and so forth under Mailings. Under Review, you've got things uh, to uh, ins um, correct the document. You know, If you're passing around, we'll talk about tracking changes later, protect the document. And then view, you can do uh, a number of things, uh, change the view, the layout of it, and also switch between um, documents, active documents. And then under developer, there's some uh, developer uh, options there. So if we go back to home, you'll notice up top here, you no longer have a file menu where you used to have the file and underneath that you'd have new, open, and so forth. So now you have what's called the Microsoft Office button, which is right here in the top corner. If you click that, that'll bring up uh, lots of you know the common options that you'll see there so if you want to um, save a document save it as print uh, send it via email or create a new document as an example or close the document you click there so you'll notice um, up here you have something called a quick access toolbar and these are icons that are automatically put up top here that are there that are common to use like save, this is undo, and this is I think redo or uh, uh, a can't re uh, uh, repeat button. Anyways, if you want to edit this and add other commands to it, just go ahead and click right here, left click, and you can customize the quick access toolbar. For example, if you wanted to add quick print, you could add that. If you wanted to choose uh, email, you know, put the common things that you use up there. So then if you want to, you can go over here and do more commands and we'll bring up a whole list of commands and you can choose these sections to scroll through and decide uh, which ones you want to add and which ones you want to uh, remove from there. So I'm going to go ahead and just uncheck those things real quick that we just did. Okay, and go back to the default. The other thing is under the Microsoft Office button, you go down here to Word Options, and you can do the same thing that we just did, um, and you can change all your options. That we were really looking at the Quick Access Toolbar, um, or you could change those settings, and you can do the same thing here. So this is a whole variety of settings about formatting, defaults, what add-ins you have installed, what your display is, and these are kind of the popular ones. Okay. So that's what a couple things I want to show you. The other thing is, is I wanted to show you down here on the bottom right, you can zoom in and out. So let me just type something here. So I just typed a couple words here. This is a test. Okay, if I want to zoom in, I can click down here and you can see you can size it however you want to. So it's an easy way of adjusting it quick and easily. Um, the other thing is you've got different layout options here at the bottom that you can play with. And then I think the last thing that I want to show you tonight is down here you'll notice you have in this in this border here in the status bar you'll notice a couple things right. I'll tell you what page you're on, what line you're on, how many words you have. Uh, and then what you can do you can click right there on that bar there right click it and you can customize the status bar for example if you wanted to 
uncheck the word count and you wanted to add caps lock just check those click right click uh, anywhere to take that off and now you notice that you no longer have the word count and uh, oh if you turn caps lock on you'll notice you see the you see it um, light up there and now it's gone so what otherwise if I took caps lock off as an example hit caps lock on now you don't see it now it's gone so feel free to customize that use it you know whatever common things you'd like to see down there if you're keeping track of words down here for number of words for a paper that you're working on or something it's a good idea to put that put that feature on all right that's all I really wanted to share with you tonight and I'm gonna come back and and start um, ramping up thanks for joining and please subscribe take care